I've actually been in the garage a lot, kind of rebuilding projects and motorcycles. Ian had been through this this part of uh, the Sierras, Eastern Sierras, by Mono, and you know he loosely mapped out some spots we could camp and some stuff to check out, and then uh, put it all together for us. So it was a it was perfect timing to get out of the house and just get away. Mountains have been calling me for a while. I've been wanting to get out of the city. I went camping during the lockdown, and I realized that I found some special places to ride motorcycles. I thought it was a perfect time to strike. So I reached out to a few brands to see if they wanted to be involved in this nature motorcycle adventure that we were gonna go on. Holy smokes, look at this valley. So I made some calls, I got heat together, and I got production crew together, and everybody was on board and super excited to go to the mountains and to get away from lockdown. John, are you, what, are you, what are you up to? You good? Um, looking like I'm working. <laughs> <laughs> He and I had started Rootless together, and, and Rootless was really freestyle. It wasn't structured. We didn't script it. We just hit the road and went to places we wanted to visit and went to events we wanted to check out. As Rootless has grown, we've added more production value, meaning we've brought people on the road with us, and, and that's that's a scary jump. You know, once you're comfortable with somebody on the road, and you don't want to really interrupt that. You don't want to take away from the experience. The crew we got was Heidi, she's a still photographer, she's badass. Heidi was a perfect addition to that with how flexible she was, how easy she was on the road. She's always ready, she, she captures this, the most amazing photos. We got John, I worked with him in the past. He's a real cool guy, no ego, works hard, just down for adventure. It, it's just great to work with him, I have fun with John. This is our first trip with Robin. I've known Robin for, for many years through the BMX world. And years ago, Robin made the jump from a professional bicycle rider into, into film, and he was a great addition, and it, it, was, it was really enjoyable to get back on the road with him. A lot of work goes into setting up these trips. Get the crew together, get sponsors on board, pack, get your motorcycle ready. You're just checking stuff off the list, checking stuff off the list. I can't wait to get up to the mountains. You get up to the mountains and then you're like, I need to get this shot, I need to get this shot. And you're, you try hard to be present, but it's freaking hard. But once you have that campfire going and you're out on the fire road or you see the beautiful views while you're riding, you, you soak it in and it's great. Why would you not want to take a Harley Davidson? Makes sense, right? Like, you can get Sportsters for a reasonably price. You can modify them to go on dirt and go camping for days and not see anyone and check out beautiful landscape. It's just a beautiful thing. When I ride motorcycles, I don't do it to communicate. You get out to clear your head and you get away from that. I use Senna products just for music. This trip might have changed my mind on how valuable it is to have that communication if you need it and, and how effective it was for us all to communicate why we were in the middle of nowhere. It definitely made the production side of it a lot easier. Whoa, look at that. Let's go check it out. First and foremost, I think the team was amazing and it was a special trip. I don't know, everything fell into place and I think that was from a little bit of a scouting, but I also took a lot of time on the front end to put all the pieces in their place. And I'm real, real happy and proud to be a part of it. It was killer and I can't wait to do more.